The sound of drumming means the chimps are on the move again. The males have formed a hunting party, and this time they have a taste for monkey. Silently, they scout the canopy for colobus monkeys. It's important to hear the prey before it hears you. Each hunter has his own role to play. This male is the driver. He keeps the colobus moving in one direction. A blocker quietly moves into position, ready to foil an escape. Light and agile, colobus could easily evade a single chimp by sitting on the thinnest branches. Only by cooperating can the chimps hope to catch them. The ambusher waits up ahead. At just the right moment, he'll rush in and close the trap. Other males on the ground monitor the hunt, ready to intercept escaping colobus. The driver lunges. Colobus and chimp are in the same tree now. Ambusher charges in. But leaping deftly across a gap, the colobus bolt free. Unable to follow, the frustrated hunters must quickly descend in hopes of catching up with the colobus on the ground. Their persistence is rewarded. Among the reds are some black and white colobus. Extremely reclusive, these monkeys are a rare prize for the chimps. The hunters struggle to bring their victim to the ground. A black and white colobus still very much alive. Everyone rushes in for their share. A wild, screaming pack hungry for meat. The newly dominant male macho is furious. He's been excluded from the kill. <laughs> However much he displays, the old females won't let him get to the meat. They are supporting their old ally, Brutus, the grayback that macho deposed as alpha male. With the females on his side, Brutus gets the major share, to Macho's frustration. Only after the colobus has been dismembered does the forest quiet down. Though the scramble for meat seems chaotic, the same dominant adults always divide it among themselves and then parcel it out to their friends and relatives. 
And though only six males hunt, more than twice that many may be fed from the kill. <laughs> 